Hey YouTube, it's Dr. Shah Khan. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I am coming to you with another luxury sneaker review. I'm really, really excited about this one in particular. Uh, as I told you, I'm going to be releasing new content every single week. So there's going to be a new video of some sort, whether it's a sneaker review. I got sneakers for days. Not quite. I definitely don't have a warehouse full of shoes, but uh, I think I definitely have enough for uh, quite a bit of content as long as I'm releasing it weekly. Different videos, healthcare stuff, song reactions, you know, I'm just trying different things on the channel and just to see kind of what you guys are responding to and what you're into. Um, so this sneaker uh, review in particular uh, is really, really kind of special and important to me. It is a luxury sneaker review, but um, these sneakers that I am going to be reviewing for you are the first pair of sneakers, luxury like high-end sneakers that I bought uh, with my first check as a practicing dentist. Uh, so actually the first check I ever received... Um, I worked at this office for three days. It was not really a good situation, to be honest. I can kind of go into it. I can let you guys know about it if you want. Definitely sound off in the comments if you want to hear about it. But it did kind of end in a physical altercation between myself and the other doctor. Um, <laughs> however, I did give my first ever check to my mom um, just because, you know, I owe so much to my parents. I'm so grateful to them for, you know, everything that they've done for me and, um, you know, for just kind of helping me like throughout everything. And, you know, as a lot of you know, my mother is a physician and she's definitely a big inspiration to um, you know, all of us, like everyone in my family, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so with the first check that I got as a dentist, I was really eyeing these sneakers. Um, you know, I remember I wanted them for a while. I hadn't seen them anywhere. They weren't available in stores at the time. So I did buy them from a stylist. Uh, and then when I was able to purchase them, that's what I did. And I also bought a Gucci watch because um, that's something that I really wanted that I probably wouldn't been have been able to buy myself uh, before that. So anyways, yeah, that's kind of the backstory. So uh, I'm going to get into it. Um, I'm so thirsty. Evian is my favorite, honestly. It's like the best bottled water out there. So that's kind of my bottled water of choice. <laughs> uh, so let me go ahead and grab them. Here they are, they're Moschino. Um, definitely worn them. Uh, you know, I'm gonna insert some photos here as well. Uh, you know, they're really, really special. So you can kind of see they're like a little bit worn here on the back, but still obviously in like amazing condition. I don't remember how much these were, to be honest. And I was looking for the box that it came in and I have it, but it's just like underneath all my other shoe boxes. So I'm just, it's not the most organized situation, but they're all clean and they're all taken care of. But the actual boxes that they come in, I don't have like so much space where I can just keep the shoe boxes themselves, you know, but I do like to keep them, especially for, you know, luxury items like Moschino, you know, Vuitton, Fendi, Bali, just whatever, all the other kind of designer stuff that I have. I, I do like to keep the shoe boxes and the shopping bags, even if I can. So um, you can see, I mean, these are just fire. So they're all black and they're accented with gold. Um, I actually just noticed this today. Maybe I did before, but I didn't really pay attention. But it says Moschino here. Uh, you can see the uh, lettering is in gold. Very sharp. I mean, and then there's uh, around the shoelaces. So I did barbell the laces. Uh, that's kind of just like something I thought looked a little bit cooler. Um, I don't know, maybe it's kind of like a Chicago thing. I don't know, but uh, I did think it looked a little bit flyer and it looked a little bit neater, you know, than like it crisscross. Um, 
So, you know, I typically don't like sneakers that are so thin, like a thin sole, but these are, you know, these are older. I mean, these are, you know, five plus years old. I don't even know at this point, but, uh, you know, very, very good quality. I'm going to just try to get really close so you can really see. Um, I do take care of them. I mean, I haven't polished them or anything like that, but um, these have been a lot of places with me. They've been with me all over the country, not all over the world yet, but um, I did wear them uh, to Fashion Week when I went to New York. Um, I will um, insert some photos here kind of sporadically throughout the video. And I did wear these when I went to LA for my big meetings. Um, and, you know, I did get photographed by some paparazzi and I was wearing these sneakers. I mean, I don't know if this had anything to do with it, but uh, they did show up very, very nicely in uh, the photos that I got. Um, and in the articles that were printed about me, I think in my article in the blast, my feature rather, I think they did mention, uh, you know, the doctor was wearing you know, black sneakers with, you know, gold lettering or something like that. So, okay, so this is the left shoe. I've kind of shown it to you for a while. So let me show you the right now. Okay, so here is the right sneaker. Uh, this one looks like a little bit cleaner to me. I will, I will kind of dust these off a little bit. Um, let me actually, okay, so this is, this is like a, it's like a belt, basically. It's like a, it's like a big belt buckle, which I think is really cool. So I do like high tops. I think they look a little bit cooler. They look a little bit flyer to me. Uh, if you're kind of into a more, you know, even if you're not into like the urban look. So here's the thing, like with me, you know, if I'm wearing, like if I'm wearing sneakers like this, my whole outfit is going to be simple. So when you saw me get photographed, what was I wearing? I was wearing all black. I was wearing like a fitted black um, uh, shirt with like a round, it was just like a round collar. And I was wearing just black pants. And then I had these. So this was the only thing that popped in. I mean, I had my rolly on, but whatever. That, that doesn't count, right? That's a watch. Um, so yeah, but very, so if I'm gonna wear something like this, Everything else is going to be really simple. Um, that's just kind of how my style is. Uh, you know, I don't tend to wear like super loud things. So this hoodie, I actually just busted this out. Um, this is Kid Robot. It's a brand that I used to love like when I was in college. So I remember uh, me and my sister, we went to New York and there was a Kid Robot store and I just like went, you know, I just let me go crazy, but I just bought whatever little that, you know, I could uh, afford at the time. This was one of the things that uh, I did pick up at that time. So uh, yeah, kind of like similar to, you know, Billionaire Boys Club. I don't want to say Bape because I don't think it's similar to Bape, but I liked Kid Robot. I have a bunch of stuff of theirs and I just really liked the aesthetic um, at the time. So I don't think that it really exists anymore. I don't really see it on anyone. Okay, so yeah, this is a belt. So I'm gonna just take this off. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's just like a belt. And then this is like a belt. It says Moschino this way. It says Moschino that way. Very interesting. I did not know that. Oh, because this is a mirror. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> so they're super cool. So sometimes, so you can see like it's a belt and then these do get kind of, they don't get loose, but you know, you just have to like make sure that, you know, it's like all the way here because if not, then like sometimes these letters will go this way when you're wearing them. So if I do notice that when I like look down at my feet, then I'll just kind of like, I'll just be like, oh, and then I'll just push them that way. Um, so the insides, I mean, you know, they're just simple. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy on the inside. Um, I mean, they're comfortable. They're definitely comfortable. I mean, they're not like, you know, Air Maxes or anything like that, but definitely like a comfortable shoe. But these are, these are like showstoppers, you know, like these shoes, Listen, I know sneaker culture is huge. You know, obviously I'm just kind of, this is a very modest channel. Oh God, I always tell everyone, I always forget, please subscribe to my channel, like, 
comment, hit the bell notification button. Okay, so what I do notice is that like, you know, I have a small following on Instagram, very grateful for my following, but so I get thousands of views on my stories, like literally thousands of views from a lot of people don't even follow me, right? But then they don't like watch my video or subscribe to my channel. So I don't, I don't really understand that. Um, I mean, whatever, I guess that's just part of the YouTube grind or whatever, but um, yeah, definitely please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm really, really trying to put content out for you guys. I have a lot going on in my professional career. Uh, you know, in my practice and all of that. Um, we can get into that later if you like, but this is a nice escape, right? Sneakers. It's just something that I really, really enjoy talking about and sharing with you all. So uh, yeah, here they are. Definitely an amazing shoe. So, you know, how I even heard about Moschino is from a song. So uh, it was like with Jay-Z and Foxy Brown. It's called Ain't No... N, I think that's the name of the song. So I remember, I think Jay-Z was like, uh, mommy looking fly in Moschino and shawty looking half black and Filipino. And then she's like, right. Um, but yeah, so ever since then, it just started resonating with me. I was like, Moschino, like, what is that? You know, cause when I was a kid, I mean, I knew about fashion certainly, but not like high end stuff like that just wasn't really on my radar. It's not really something I was exposed to as much. I mean, when I was a kid, like growing up, I mean, I would think, you know, Ralph Lauren, like Polo and like Tommy Hilfiger, like to me, that was like, oh my gosh, like if I was able to get that, you know, for like a birthday or something, I was like, oh man, like I made it, you know? I think like my interest in fashion and just my kind of knowledge of it really kind of increased when I got to college and just started, you know, kind of meeting different people and... Uh, so now my memory is kind of jogging. It's kind of going to places that um, maybe aren't the most positive. But I do remember, you know, the people that I was exposed to a lot of times that were really into fashion. And, you know, they were really into like brands and like these luxury brands. And they they were really not ones to afford it, which I thought was interesting. And but that is kind of where I started really kind of getting into like more luxury stuff. Uh, right? <laughs> so anyways, that's it. You know, that's my luxury Moschino sneaker review. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely love filming YouTube videos for you guys. So you kind of see. They're dope. I mean, it's a dope shoe. They serve me very well. Uh, if I was able to get another pair, I probably would. Oh, oh, let me show you. I forgot, I forgot. I know this video is getting long. All my videos are long. I might need to shorten them. I do have, I did get this belt um, that I also wear never together. Not just because this one's silver and that's gold, but you know, like I told you, you know, I don't, I'm not a logo H, you know? I'm a logo, I got logos all over me. Photos of me posing like Joe to see. That's uh, two chains, by the way. Um, titty two chains. You know, I'm a rap fan, always have been. But yeah, I think like when people just wear too many logos, like I know that's kind of a hood thing for me, you know, like I'll wear maybe a logo or two top. I'm doing more, it's definitely a mistake, you know? So um, I'll put another, I'll insert another photo here. I think uh, this photo, I was wearing this belt when I was in New York um, for Fashion Week. Um, I was way thinner than I am now. Uh, I think in these photos, I was like 160 pounds. So that was like about 30 plus pounds ago. It's just a rough time. Um, yeah, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to like show you that, you know, I have the belt too. 
um, definitely wouldn't wear them together. Just break them up, you know, like one logo is fine. If you got a logo on, if you're concerned with what people think, you know, at least they're going to see one thing. So they'll know, you know, if it, that's important to you, like, yeah, they see it, you know, like it's in their face. <laughs> so anyways, I got to get going. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell notification button. Um, and let me know what you want to see next. Cause, uh, I definitely am taking requests. Okay. Take care.